Hello everyone, this is Vipstar here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your OBS for your system. So first things first, you want to make sure you have OBS. If you don't have it, click the first link in the description, download it for your system, and then install it on whatever drive you have. Then after that, once you open it, it will look something kind of like this. And then you want to... If you don't know how to do the scenes, you just do this little plus and you add a scene. Um, I'm not going to do it because, yeah. Um, once you have the scene, then uh, you want to add the source and make sure it's either you can add it like a display which captures your whole screen your game which captures the game you're playing so call of duty warzone or unturned and then after that your video capture um you just capture video <laughs> so like Algato probably i think that's what they mean external i don't know um window capture is like if you want to capture a certain window like say google for example and yada yada um, you can also do audio input, which is your mic, output, which is your headset, if you just want to capture that. Um, now onto the settings. So for settings, you want to go start with general. Um, you don't have to have anything on there. You have dark theme. You can have, uh, you don't really have to touch anything on there. So we're going straight to output. For output modes, you want to make sure basic is not it's not basic and put it to advanced and then go to streaming. Um, this you won't have to touch. This down here, CBR, whatever your your bitrate will be your upload. So mine's like 11.5 or something, but I just put 3,000 because I probably won't have to go with it. Um, keyframe zero CPU usage the higher it is as it says here the less CPU you use so if you have a really bad CPU you can put it ultra fast your profile you want high for streaming um, and these are blank okay now on to recording standard recording format mp4 it's easiest to work with encoder that 2264 Rescale is whatever your resolution should already be set, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Um, rate, it's CBR again. Bitrate can be a little bit higher. It could be double or whatever. Um, you're gonna have to mess with, with that too. Just see how that works. Um, CPU, the higher, the less. So let's say for recording, you won't have to put it as, as high if you don't want to, but I, I would keep it on ultra if you have a really bad CPU. For profile on recording, I would do main or high. I'm not quite sure what they do. I mean, it might be a little different, but you should be fine for recording. So I just put it on main tune. You don't have to worry about that. Video, now we're over in video tab. Base canvas is whatever your screen is that you're recording. Your output scale resolution is it's gonna have to be a little bit lower, like I have 1280 by 720. You put that up to your base if you want, um, if you have a really good graphics card and CPU and all that stuff. Now scale filter, um, the cubic, there's some other ones. I would just leave it on that. Your FPS is whatever you feel like you want to record in. I'd put it around 30, 48, or however good your system is really hotkeys um that's that's my number pad plus and minus it's pretty easy to to reach so it's pretty handy and then advanced um for general you want your process priority to be high because you want you don't want to be lagging when you're recording um, the stuff can really stay the same, it's all good, um, you can disable this if you want, um, really up to you, I'll just keep it checked though, 
for network. Say you wanted to like bind your IP, uh, you don't really have to, you just leave the default. You want to probably enable these two bottom ones here. Um, it'll probably help you out when you're streaming. And I believe that is it. So if you guys need any help, just comment down below and I will answer it right away. That's our sign out. See you guys.